Happy holidays, my friends. It is day number four of Advent Calendar Madness. I'm Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. And we are back with more, more fun stuff going on today. We've got lots of great creepy Santa goodness. We've even got our new custom advent calendar from our friends over at SEO Toy Review. So that's gonna add a little bit to the overall toy portion of the show. And we've actually got a lot of fun things to get into today. So I think we should just go ahead and jump straight on in okay. to the creepy Santa segment. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Yeah! We do gotta try new batteries just to see. Just to see. Eventually, I'm gonna find time to go down and buy some C batteries <laughs> to see if this works. I'm so sad that he's not working, but... But we have other stuff that works. You do have other stuff. You have submissions for Creepy Santa time today. And we're gonna get to some of the emails, but Stina came home today, and let me tell you, she was super proud of herself when she walked through the front door. The first thing she said to me was, I got a Creepy Santa! Why don't you show me what you brought today? I brought this creepy Santa that was sat in my house when I was a kid next to the tree. Yeah? Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Ah! <laughs> I love it! And along with creepy Santa. This one's great too. It's creepy frosty. Creepy frosty. No, these are great. These are like miniature blow molds. Yep. They're like miniature versions of the big blow molds you see in people's yards. In fact, this one right here is like a classic like I think they still make blow mold frosties that look like this guy right here um, is there a date on these there might be uh, let me see 19 1968 is on this one on the frosty uh, do you think that your parents have had it that long or they, do you think that's just like the copyright date of the design I could be either really could well, they're either. at least, I know they're as far from the 80s. <laughs> That's a point, because they were around when you yeah. were a kid. I yeah. love this guy. He's totally yellowed <laughs> from the years. From the years, yes. <laughs> These are amazing. They just sat next to our Christmas tree every year. So you just stole these from your parents' house? Yeah, they were, my mom had all the decoration out, and I saw them. I'm like, I'm taking these. I'll bring them back, but I'm taking they these. They don't put these up, do they? I don't think I've ever seen them. I don't think they do anymore. This is amazing. They should be here then. We'll put them up every year. We'll see. <laughs> I gotta ask. Well, they're here today, and that's all that matters. I love them. You gotta put, yeah, you see, there you go, right in the middle. There you go. Boom. Nice glowing Santa right in the middle. I love it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into some of the email Santas that were sent in today. And I got a whole bunch of them, so let me find my place real quick. Doop, doop, look at this, look at this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so the first email comes from Donatello21, and we've gotten emails in the past several years. You will recognize as soon as you see it. Uh, but it's from Kid Danger, is what it says. It says, hello, Pixel family. I'm the one and only Kid Danger, the pony from the YouTube channel Donatello21. Okay. Oh, it's a character emailing us. I hope you have a wonderful day and or night. Could be either right now, I guess. This year, I couldn't uh, find the 2018 Disney Tsum Tsum Advent Calendar frowns. I, I don't even know if they made one, actually. Do you think they made a 2018? I, I thought you said something, but... It could. I haven't but seen I don't, it. You didn't tell me the year yeah. that it was. Uh, it says, I hope you have a good December. Winks and sticks out my tongue. Bye. <laughs> uh, but see, we always get the little uh, stuffed yeah. Donatello. And this year we got the little uh, wolf plushie dressed up like Santa Claus. <laughs> so thank that's you. that's the submission this year from Donatello 21. So thank you so yeah, much. We you. really appreciate it. You know what? I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to have to turn off our little light here. Because I think it's actually messing with our <laughs> our video you mean a little the bit. It was dr is... yeah, it was drowning out the light for us, so we will have to click him off. Maybe if he was behind us, it wouldn't be doing it. All right, uh, the next email says, "Hey, Pixel Dan and Christina, happy holidays! I love this time of year, and watching your videos definitely increases my holiday spirit." Oh, that's awesome. I found this creepy Santa at an antique mall in Denton, Texas. Hope you and yours have a great holiday season. Uh, there's actually not a name on here, so I apologize, but 
We've got ourselves a creepy no. Lego Santa Claus at an antique store. Look at the <laughs> nose. That is a ginormous nose. The Lego Santa is really good. We've Which definitely. The, he's got, he's got a, a, a blanket. The, uh, yeah, he's got that. Just like the brick for yeah. the beard there. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it's good stuff. I really like it. And I've seen that Santa before, I think. But he's super goofy looking. Like, that face that, is... Yeah, the, the that eyes. That face is hilarious. I love it. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that one. All right, the next email says, Hi, Pixel Dan. We love your show and anxiously await Advent Calendar Madness each year. Our son especially gets into the creepy Santa portion. These Santas are from my grandpa, from my grandma's collection, and Jack picked them out as the creepiest ones on the shelf. We hope you have an excellent, excellent holiday season. Can't wait to see all the creepy Santas out there from John, Katie, Jack, and Eva. And oh. here is a selection of amazing creepy Santas wow. from the shelf. How awesome are these? So this one is just like one we got the other day, the wooden one there. Yeah. Uh, looks a lot like the German one that we saw the other day. Like but that? I specifically like that first that one there. That one's going to give kids nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> he is a really, really silly looking Santa Claus for sure. I love him. And then the weird like kind of wicker that's basket just, one. That's just weird. Yeah. It looks homemade though, right? It looks homemade. That kind of reminds me of our um, snowman Thing that we used to have. <laughs> totally. I should see if my mom still has that too. <laughs> well, Jack, you picked some good ones. Those are fantastic. Thank you guys so much for sending those in, and we're really glad that you enjoy the show. All right, we've got a, another email here. We're actually going to do two more emails today. Uh, this one says, Hey, Dan, Cena, and Spencer. I put together all of the creepiest Santas in my parents' house together last Christmas for this group shot. Plus, the twins are extra creepy. It's another warm one in the land down under. My hometown of Longreach is around 45 degrees Celsius this year. That's awesome. Wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas full of chocolate milk and blind bags. <laughs> Thanks for another year of great toy reviews, hauls, history of toys, and conventions from Jason down in Australia. So this is the group shot that he put together of all the creepy Santas in his house. Look, I recognize two of them there. He's got our creepy Santa and yep. Santa car. What, what, and there's that guy again. Yep. But what is this thing in the back? I know. I like the big plushy one in the back. Yeah, and then he has the twins. <laughs> which Those is, are just creepy. Which is that classic design yeah. that pops up all the time, but it is hilarious. Those are fantastic. I love the group shot, Jason. So thank you so much for sending those in. Thank you. And we're going to get to the last one here. It's a bit of a longer email, but it says, Hi, Dan, Spencer, and Christina. My boyfriend got me into Advent Calendar Madness last year, so this is my second year. Oh, that's awesome to hear. My boyfriend is a super fan and has been watching you for years. We've been waiting to try and find the perfect creepy Santa all year, and finally in October, in an antique store at our local mall, we found this. We were walking around the store when all of a sudden I saw him towering over me with eyes piercing through my soul. It seriously creeped us out, so naturally we asked the owner how much it was <laughs> and it didn't have a, as it didn't have a price tag. She had said that it was $80, but my boyfriend said no because that would dip into his toy budget for the month. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> That's a little much. <laughs> Regardless, I knew he was going to be the one I was going to use for Creepy Santa this year. Uh, so there's the Santa. He's looking into my soul. I, she, I know, right? That's what she said. He is a really weird looking Santa for sure. I love it though. He's got like a teddy bear and like a stuffed cat like yeah, clung to him. He's trying to make you like, come, I've yeah. got teddy bears. I bear. have toys. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, but she does go on to ask a question. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, my boyfriend Leaf would like to know why Leech is the only Masters of the Universe Classics figure you don't have a review up for. It's been bothering him for a couple of years. Anyways, I hope you and your family have the merriest of Christmases. Sincerely, Ashley and your biggest fan, Leaf. Um, I wanted to answer that because it's really funny because back at PowerCon, I did like a 10 years of Pixel Dan panel. And one of the questions that was asked during that panel was that exact same thing. How come there's no review of Leech on YouTube? And like everybody in the room started clapping because they all wanted to know. Um, the, the short answer is that like I did review Leech, but 
before I was really putting all my videos on YouTube, I used to use another service called blip.tv and then they were just posted on heman.org and blip.tv eventually shut down and I eventually migrated all my stuff to YouTube and somewhere in the shuffle, I didn't ever upload the Leech review to YouTube. That's the only reason it's not there. <laughs> I have it somewhere on a hard drive and my plan is to dig it out at some point and not only upload the missing, like a lost review, but I thought it'd be fun to like redo the review with like proper uh, HD footage that the I use now, better lighting, better footage, better photos, and then I'll put both versions up and that way we'll have a double the Leech fun. So. As soon as I can get around to it, because I got a lot going on, but it's going to happen. But it's a good question. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And we love these creepy Santas, guys. So feel free to keep sending them in. Uh, let it be known that I have so many emails right now, but I'm going to do my best to nail out as many of these as I can every day. So feel free to send me an image, admin at pixel-dan.com. We'll do our best to get it here on the show. All right. You ready for some toy Let's time? Let's do it. Okay, before we open toys, yes. the first thing we're going to do is cut away to our son, Spencer, who opened up day four of his Paw Patrol calendar. So, here you go. Hey, Spencer. Hi. Uh, hey. What number are we on today? Four. Four? Yeah. Do you know where it's at? Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. All right, go ahead and open it up. What do you think it is? I think it's Marshall. You think that big one's Marshall? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. What is that? It's the... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Oh, it's like a little shop? It's the candy store. It's a candy store. Wow. Hey, and it's like a full-on plastic little house there. Yeah. That's good. No cardboard in this calendar. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So now you got a little shop that that Chase can go in if you want. Yeah. Oh. You can go get some candy. Go to the candy store. Maybe you can buy some candy for the other pups for Christmas. <laughs> or eat it himself. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, tomorrow is five and it's a smaller door. Yeah. I wonder what it'll be tomorrow. I hope it's Marshall. You really hope it's Marshall. I yeah. hope we get Marshall eventually during this whole thing. Yeah. All right. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Bye. Say we'll see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> so Spencer got uh, a little house today or like a candy shop or something. And his he was advent actually calendar. really excited about it. Yeah. And you know, we, we always joke about like the bad advent calendars having like paper and stickers and stuff like that. And even last year, like his dinosaur calendar was very underwhelming. It had stickers in it. Uh, it did. It had stickers. And like there was like three days in a row where we built a bush. Yeah. I mean, it was blah. Um, so I'm actually happy that like when we get things like buildings in this, like they're full on plastic toys. So, so far every day has been some sort of a toy. Yeah. While some are going to be better than others, at least they're all toys. Great. At least they're all toys. Okay. So we are going to start today with this. Because our good friend Kevin over at SEO Toy Review always puts together his own custom like advent calendar for us just filled with blind bags. And it's a little late this year because of the postal service. It happens during this time of year. So we've got to catch up. Uh, we're going to have to open up. Four, four, of four of them here. Um, so this comes from Kevin and Erica at SEO Toy Review. So shout out to both of them. Thank you guys so much. I always like showing off the box too know, because such great drawings. there's drawings all over the place. So we got like baby Skeletor on here. We got Chucky from Rugrats, uh, Optimus Prime. I love Cowl. Look at Cowl. Pikachu. Pikachu is on the box. Captain Planet is on the box. And then the top has Raphael, Lionel, and Creepy Sam. Creepy Santa. Creepy Santa right there on top of the box. All right, so we got a little card inside that says, time for another Advent Calendar Madness. It's always fun getting to see you guys count down the days until Christmas. There are 24 items to open in this box. Dan should open the wrapped present on the last day. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to the Pixel family from Kevin and Erica. And... I thought it was really funny that they included this little picture of us. <laughs> this was from back at RetroCon a couple months ago in Pennsylvania. That's the three of us at the um, uh, at the concert, the Cybertronic Spree concert. They're amazing. They're like, if you've never heard of them, 
they dress up in Transformers cosplay and sing a whole bunch of 80s songs and 80s cartoon theme songs, like full-on rock band. Yeah. They're amazing. Uh, so that was us at the concert, and I think it's really funny he developed the picture and sent it. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, okay. so we have to open up four. So you get two and I get two. So why don't you just, except for the wrapped yeah. one, the wrapped one's for the last day, so why don't you just randomly pick a couple things. Okay, I'll go, let's see what we got. Are you, are you gonna dig and check? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna know what it is. It's a little woozy? Woozy. All right, so. Woozy. Oh no, the creepy no. frosty, I'm and sorry. A, and trolls. Okay, you got a trolls thing and a no, little wood woodsies. woodsies. I've never seen those. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do a Venom Domes and a Nightmare Before Christmas figural keychain. Yeah. All right, ready? Let's see if this has even got a tear thing on it. I think I brought some scissors over here in case we. Ah! Oh, hey! The I got. I got the mayor. And look at this. He's got a face on both sides. His head doesn't turn, I don't think, does it? No, but he's got the happy face on his back and he's got like the freaked out face on his front where he's like, ah, where's Jack? Somebody find Jack. Oh, oh what is that? a cute little dog. And it's like a bobblehead. It, it... Does it light up? It's got, oh, it totally has a battery in it. What does it do? Sure. I'm intrigued by oh. this. Whoa! Bobblehead makes It's a bobblehead her... flashing thing, and it's flocked, too. It's fuzzy, and it's got a sparkly diamond on its head. There's a lot going on with this little minifigure. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. All right, let's open up this Venom. I need the scissors. Domes. Where did I put those scissors? Oh, they're right here. Oh. I knew I brought them over here. I might need them, too. Some of these bags are just like... No, no, you're not gonna be able to open that. I don't know who this is, but he's cool. He looks like a green version of a. Who's the main kid? Who's the main Branch. Dude? Branch. He looks like a green version of Branch. Like, and it's weird because his, his. I'm sure they just recolor. His uh, his hair is hard because they put a stamp on it, and so he he's hard. His hair is hard. I have no idea who this is. Is that Venom? Oh, it's Gwenum. What's a Gwenum? It's it's Spider Gwen with the Venom symbiote on her. Is that a thing? See, I guess it is a thing. I think I've heard that before. Gwenum. I like how her hood is like the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> these are kind of cool. I've never actually opened any of these, I don't think. Have we ever opened any of the domes before? Uh, Not on camera. Oh, you've got a couple Mickey I've ones. I've got Mickey ones. Okay. Huh, that's kind of cool. Well, thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank Kevin and you. Erica. I'm excited to see what else is in there for the rest of the month. That is super cute. Ready to dive into yeah. ours? All right. Well, let's do day Hatchimals. four. Hatchimals. Hatchimals and Lego Advent City calendar. And we're on day four, so it's up here the top. One. Oh, I like this one. Oh, gosh. You're already laughing. What'd you get? I got a little bow for the hair. Oh, my. And a little tiny gift. A bow and another gift. They already gave you a gift the first time with the figure. So then they're just like, we'll just give you another gift in this one. Now let's see if this bow. You wanna yeah. see what I got? I got a little dog and a little dish with a chicken bone in it, or maybe a turkey leg. He's a we'll little, say turkey. He's a little husky. Get a little husky. I got this oh, oh, little oh, oh. bow that I stuck A in little bow that she put on the figure that she got on day one. No, that's one I got yesterday. Oh, yesterday. That's right. And okay. This tiny little gift. So you've gone figure, accessory, figure, accessory so far. Yeah. If, I've well, gone. No decoration. I've gone. I tree too. I've gone thing to build, figure, thing to build, figure so far with the Lego one. So those are the theme. I like the little dog. I think the little dog's the awesome. Dog's cute. Dog is super cute. Awesome. Well, there you go, my friends. I think that's going to wrap up day number four of Advent Calendar Madness. Had a lot going on today, but there's some really fun stuff going on here. Here, I'll go ahead and we'll flip Santa on for the end of the show. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope to see you right back here tomorrow for another episode. So until then, I'm Pixel Dan. And I'm Sadina. Happy holidays, my friends. Bye.